Hi there and welcome to this two minute tips video and today we're going to be looking at pre-release capture options. Now pre-release capture options is only available on the Z8 and Z9. Imagine you're at the finishing line of a sporting event like a Formula One race and you want to catch the nose of the winning car as it goes over the line. For this you'd probably shoot with high frames per second as it's predictable. Let's imagine though you're at a soccer game where an event could happen at any moment. It's unpredictable. And this is where pre-release capture can help. In this scenario, from the point you half press the shutter or press the AF on button if you've got that set, the camera caches images. So you could be following the action. There's a dubious tackle. You press the shutter release button to capture it. And at this point, the camera not only captures images while you have the shutter release button pressed, but it will also capture images from a preset um, period before you press the shutter release button. And it will move them from the cache onto your memory card. So you'll have access to a series of images even from before you fully press the shutter release button. So you have a better chance of catching the shot that you want. So how do we set it up? Well, we go to custom settings menu and in D shooting display, you'll find it under option D3. And in there, you'll find two options. Firstly, you've got the pre-release burst, and this is the period of time that you want before you press the shutter release button for the camera to move from the cache to the card. And the options are have it turned off 0.3 of a second, 0.5 of a second or one second. And post-release burst is about how long you want the camera to capture whilst you've got the shutter release button depressed. And here you can choose one second, two seconds, three seconds or max. And max is about four seconds. So once you have it set up, you'll see an icon appear in the EVF or LCD showing it's active. And when you half press the shutter release button or press the AF on um, button, you'll see a green dot appear next to the icon to show the camera is caching images. Now, it only works with JPEGs and in high frame per second mode C30, C60 and C120 and you have to have continuous autofocus um, turned on. Equally, you can only hold the um, or half press the shutter release button for up to 30 seconds at a time. And at that point, an exclamation mark appears next to the icon instead of the green dot. And you have to let go of the shutter release button and then half press it again to activate it. So it's great functionality and useful for unpredictable fast action like perhaps sport or perhaps children. Have you tried it? If so, let us know in the comments below. And as always, I look forward to seeing you on a future video.